Hey, how you doing there? This is uh, the channel for Aussie Trigger. I am Frank, and Paul is here too. I am now fighting uh, Emperor that took over Aston because I want the air conditioning back in my castle as well. <laughs> See, Driss gets shafted a lot. No, no one can air condition. Shaft! Yeah. Shaft! But anyway... <laughs> the thing is, like, like Driss gets shafted because everyone gets uh, three good monsters. Vinard, Norgard's country gets... Driss gets a bomb on. No, no, I know, but listen. Just and listen. the Gigas. But just listen, though, first. No. He gets... <laughs> Vinard gets two silver dragons and a free. That's three. Kai, well, that's, get, that's not a third just, tier. Just listen, though. I can't. He gets I can't help three but guys. Kai gets a call to a Triton and a High Centaur. Lance gets a Salamander, a Stone Gallon, and a Nightmare. Oh, the, I must forget about the Nightmare. The Queen gets a, a Phoenix, a hot Holy Griffin, and a um, Pegasus. Drisk gets a Bombot and a Gigas. Two guys. Everyone else gets three. He also gets Gallo. That's an extra clown. I mean, but clowns aren't good fighters. They're just funny to some people. Maybe that's the joke. <laughs> oh, now, <laughs> I get it. now I get it. I don't know. I, mean, I was trying to think of something, but you're kind of right, though. I mean, the Gigas is pretty powerful, so it could almost count for like a couple weaker characters because, or, or weaker monsters, because the other monsters aren't like really good tiers. But, but the patterns? stone golem is comparable to the Gigas, and as far as strength goes. Defense, maybe not so much, but the Stone Golem can throw rocks from a distance, so it's it's already like... Lance gets way better stuff than Driss does, and he also gets an ally. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're right in that sense. Driss does get shafted. Yeah, I mean, besides... Yeah, and, 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 and his, his, you his fight position the... is horrible. Yeah, but remember, if you fight the Queen... That Gigas will drop like a rock. He's terrible. Just, he, well, yeah, you do need Divine Ray on him, they'll take off 300 points of damage Pantanus, right off the bat. Pantanus, white is going to kill his black, and the blue trumps the red. Pantanus can easily take that guy out in an instant. And his Divine Ray is going to kill it. The only thing that they have with the Gigas is are good from the previous ones, because mm -hmm. in previous ones, Giants are just horrible all the time. They, they would glitch the game out half the time, where the game would freeze from using a giant attack. It's actually on my previous uh, videos, I think it was with Fine Art, that had to pause the game for a while. Even on here, on the Grand Edition version, there was still the bug Is where the Gigas attack will freeze the game, or a giant attack will freeze the game. So it doesn't matter so much. I don't think the Titans do it as much, but the Gigas can, the giant can, and uh, we gotta be careful because if it freezes the game, it'll literally it'll stop the recording too, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not good. Um, but Gigas has had this glitch, and plus with the original one, Gigas, they could do a critical attack, but nothing else would come of it. Like, they couldn't stun you from it. So all they had was a possible high percentage, you know, strength attack, mm -hmm. but they had a high miss ratio, and they had nothing else beyond that to, to, give, to make them even slightly beneficial. Yeah. And there was already enough red things in the game to do a damage, like dragons. Yeah. You know, so the dragon compared to a giant, it's just a no brainer. You take the dragon off the giant every day. Of course. Unless you wanted to find a way to get Thor or Loki. There's really no need to, to level up a giant. It just wasn't. And here, they gave him the stun ability, so that makes him a little more valuable. But even Someone, then, their yeah. they're, they're miss ratio is so insanely high. Know. It's stupid. It's, it's just like the Mandrake hits more than the giant, and the Mandrake has lower agility. Yeah. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's the way that they coded the game. You know? I, I, I don't know what else to tell you, Paul, about it. It's just like the Giants are just horrible. They're <laughs> the worst thing. The Giants are the worst thing that they put into this game. Yeah, they are. They really are. I'll take a Clay Gom over a Giant any day. I mean, some people might disagree on that because, well, the Giants do more damage. The Clay Gom can sit in front of a bunch of defensive uh, healers or mages and not do any attacks and practically never die. They won't get turned to stone, they won't get poisoned, they won't get stunned, they won't get paralyzed. I mean, their side benefits and the fact that they do almost the same amount of damage that giants do makes them so much better, more cost efficient, uh, just a way better unit in comparison. Yeah. And plus with the giants already glitching the game out and possibly freezing your game. I know. 
Why would you? I don't know why you would, you would take that chance with a lot of giants. I'm sure the people that have played this game for a while have already noticed that. And the, in the original one, sometimes I thought it was a griffin, but I'm realizing it more so now it's the giant. The giant's attacks can freeze a game. Mm. So, let's talk about something else. Okay. How is the weather like? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It finally got nice. See, you see, in Wisconsin here, we, we go from, we, we literally go from winter right into summer. We just skip spring all together because yeah. our, our weather here is very bipolar. And sometimes, you know, where the, it, the it autumn, just gets warm and yeah. cold, warm, and, cold. And warm, autumn cold, can be, cold. boom, summertime. Off and on. <laughs> yeah, because that's how it's been. And then finally, it's been like a 70 degree day today. And it's tomorrow's going to be 60. Friday was uh, about eight. Uh, Friday was got about eighty. Tomorrow's gonna be like sixty-one as a high or something like that. But that's from Milwaukee area. It's usually always warmer inland. So yeah, yeah, that's true. But <laughs> that's the way it's been for the past three years too. I'm so surprised. I thought, I thought previously um, growing up it would be kind of sometimes the weather would still be cold. Yeah. Up until May, but now it's been the past three years. It's been consistent cold all the way into May. Yeah. Where there's nights where it's 40 degrees. Or there's days where it's 40 degrees. <laughs> you know that whole global warming stuff? I don't believe it. What a bunch of garbage. It is. It <laughs> is. It really is. a bunch is. of garbage. I mean, people will talk about the stats or the statistics on it, but I'm not seeing that here. I mean, it's still really, really cold. Yeah. I mean, it's possible if it's global warming where all that ice is cooling down and we're getting the effects of the ice because we're closer to the pole than the the people in the middle of the country yeah i don't know but see the thing is people are saying global warming is kind of a big thing but you got to look at the factories and the industries that are constantly pumping out uh chemical smoke into the air so what happens in a nuclear uh, fallout is that all that dust and uh, smoke that's been pushed into the air blocks out the sun, creates a, a global cool down, you know, mm -hmm. that makes it colder. But it's almost like we're, you know, it, it's almost like we're, um, as a human race, kind of pushing that because we're pumping all these chemicals in the air and it's possibly blocking out the sun more, making it cooler. So I think even if it is, even if the ice is melting, we're creating more uh, atmospheric dust to keep to keep it cooler. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of what we're doing, and I think even if there was global cooling or global warming, we're, we're kind of preventing that by constantly pumping chemicals in the air. Because yeah, we, we're basically. blocking out the sun more, we're making it the earth colder from, you know, keeping the earth protected from the sun with all these other chemicals we shoot in the air. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we are combating it with that, but that's a theory. Theory of mine. Hmm, not bad. Oh, could have blown acid on me. That would have been a smart thing to do. You see, now this way you get stoned. Not very really bright. Mm -hmm. Were they trying to reference the Burgundine that getting stoned is a bad thing? Like doing drugs is a bad thing? Possibly. Because that I, I would think make it is. sense. Yeah, well, you yeah. don't want to get stoned in this game. No, it's, it's bad either way. Real life and a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, okay, they cured him up. That's actually better. Because now he doesn't have a high defense, I can kill him much quicker. I do that. I do really like that with this game. That when they get turned to stone, they're just they're just not fragile stones. <laughs> they are like turn into living rock. Yeah, they're, they're like whole body. Their whole body. It's not their outer shell. It's, it's not a whole, shell. It's like yeah, the, yeah their from, whole body is a rock. Like their whole body, like the insides are all injected with stone. Exactly. So it's like you're attack, you're attacking one solid statue. Yeah. And so yeah, you can attack the statue, but you're not going to do that much damage to it. <laughs> it. Might break a couple pieces, but it'll still be around. <laughs> I like that. I like they did that. They didn't overlook that aspect. Because I think some other games, if they do do that, they probably overlook that aspect. They're like, oh, you're turned to stone, you can get hit now, but um, you take the same damage. 
you know, <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense to me. This is this is nice how they try to make it, you know, yeah, somewhat realistic. Yes, it's a fantasy game, but they they, they seem to give it a little bit of realism with that. They hit the nail on the head. Sure did. <laughs> this is fun. And you wave mod by just to <laughs> get him a whole. Now it's not the, a super powerful attack though, but it's strong enough and it does a good amount. To where the guys get low enough, so my stronger creatures can kill them much quicker. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a Bible he's reading when when he first does a holy word in the original one? When you, when you set the animations, it might yeah. be because he he's like it's reading good. from a book. It's got a cross on it, I think, and he closes the book and he slams his staff on the ground. And all this holy, all these holy word, this holy word comes out and hits everybody. That's a that's an interesting thing. I never actually thought about that. It could be. It could, it could be. I mean, it is holy word. I guess it's basically the holy rune word of this land. They would more so portray. Yeah, probably. Because it is the runes that come out. Yeah. And they're basically Viking runes from. Uh, They'll be okay. The Vikings. Ooh, music. What the heck on that? Just do something. Yeah. For there experience. I mean, not many of you guys need it, though. Now, I'm not fighting with a huge army, though, but my guys are always are very powerful, and most are second are second tier. So, mm. it's always a good thing. He likes to brag. Well, I have every right to brag, because my guys are good. And good in more than one way. Yeah, yeah. They're holy, and they're very good fighters. I'm surprised you didn't start off leveling the Queen's team up right away. Uh, Queen can get good, but she's not... She's, magic, yeah, but she can't like get like super, super good, though. Oh, I think she can. Well, I think you're wrong. Well, I think you're wrong. Well, I know you're wrong, though. See? Your attack didn't kill him, so therefore you're wrong. Okay, this attack will. That <laughs> 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 It would have been funny if you missed, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, I would have... I would have said, in your face! <laughs> I would have been extremely angry if that did work, though. If that did not kill him. Yeah. This guy's more brutal. John will miss me all day long. Nope. You're wrong about that, too. <laughs> With a critical. How can I be wrong? With a critical. Dang it. Just bomb him. Okay, whatever. What else are you gonna do? I was hoping I knew the holy word. What's he, what are you gonna do there, huh? Uh, I can't do, do nothing. nothing. He can't do nothing there. He can't do nothing there. <laughs> no nothing. Now you can. Now you can area heal. Heal voice. Well, you gotta kill the the, the wavering off first, I suppose. I'd rather do that. Then. Yeah, he hit. Woohoo! Then. Woo -hoo! Okay, you're getting a little too carried away, but you got that uh, girlish enthusiasm inside of you from the <laughs> queen, so it makes sense. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give me that sometimes. Well, you, you can be giddy. It's okay. I don't know I was afraid of that. That was just stupid. <laughs> I tried it. That just looked stupid he and left your small, sensitive balls completely exposed. The thing is, he was a new dog. I really didn't mind it that much. Look at that. Look at how he treats dogs. He is not a dog person. I am. My dogs live. I meant with the phoenix, not with the bishop. And where is my number two phoenix? Tell me that. I'd say, but you wouldn't like, you, you wouldn't like the answer. <laughs> Look, they're one in three, you dummy. They're one in three. <laughs> you just kicked him in the... In the uh, balls? In the loincloth. I was going to say loincloth, but balls work too. <laughs> so, well, that's the end of this battle. I hope you weren't uh, too offended by my friend here. You know, gets carried away with things. Hey, come on. You got to give it. I'm the queen. I got to be giddy as a schoolboy. Schoolgirl. Well, yeah, but it's. Why would you be a schoolboy if you were the queen? Schoolgirl. Well, yeah, but the, girl, the queen's kind of a tomboy. She's not a tomboy. <laughs> That's Charlene. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And tune in for whatever the next battle is, which you'll probably see right in a second here. Nice and to... that's going to be my battle against 
let us know. Or let you know. I can't say that name. Don't look at me. You never can. No, nah, I know. Well, I should probably look at the, the map. And you call me strange. Next time, I will look at the map, and I will see what it says, and say the correct pronunciation for it. So, take it easy.